Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. You join me today in the yard because we're going to do some work on the Foden. Come on. Today I want to get this sort of light surround panel fitted properly. I've loosely put the bolts in, but it's all wobbly. The headlights aren't fitted yet. You can see that one's not in. Um, we've got a panel to go on there. Um, we've got to put the fog lights in, get the bumper fitted properly. We've got to get this step plate there, uh, mod plate. Um, so we're just trying to start finishing off the front end. I've got the steps to go back on. Um, so I've got new steps for both sides. Um, when these are broken, and then the upper sort of step and wing panel, that's still got to be sprayed yet. Uh, but we've got a bracket under here that we've got to remove. So yeah, let's get some tools out and see what we can do. Bit of a messy tool shed. Uh, let's find some gloves. Voila, is that a pair? Yeah, I think that's a pair. Rag. Oh, the one thing we're working with trucks uh, is everything's bigger. I've never worked on a lorry or a truck before. My brother-in-law is actually um, a lorry mechanic. That's what he is by trade as such. Um, but he's about 17 foot tall and he has hands like shovels. I don't, he can get hold of something and undo it. Whereas I would just get the grinder out. You know, a normal half inch ratchet. There you go. Um, that would do for most things. Lorry ratchet. One inch drive. That undoes most stuff. I'm using my phone, so I hope this works. The GoPro's just died, uh, card errors for some reason, so I'll have to sort that out. Uh, right, tool shed, let's get some tools. Always need an adjustable spanner, socket set and some grease. What else do we need? Those are the new steps to go on later today, hopefully. Uh, got some bolts arriving for those, um, which where the tread plates bolt on. Hopefully they've sent the right screws this time. Yeah, look at that. Okay, as you may have guessed, I've just sheared a bolt. Great. Replace that. There's always one. So, the reason I'm doing this is it doesn't line up there, that panel. Now that's where the headlight, oh come on, focus. That's where the headlight bolts up. And the previous one of these front panels, I mean, you can bend it slightly, but you'll crack it. And the previous one, these lugs had been broken. And I reckon that's uh, where it's either had a bit of a bump or it's been forced to make it fit um, and it's just snapped the lugs off. So these have got adjustment. You can see the one I've just snapped there, the hole is oval. So you can slide this about a bit. So we'll get some of that cleaned up and get a new bolt for there. So here we go, we've adjusted this and now you can see that these, if the camera will focus, why won't it focus? Anyway. Those line up better now. Um, we've still got to deal with that sheared off bolt. That's a bit annoying. It has moved over quite a way. Um, obviously I've changed the front panel. This one, the original was all broken and where these lugs were snapped off, rather than trying to fiberglass and fill and glue them, we got this really good one. So sprayed up, obviously there's going to be slight differences. Fitting it to a truck it's never been on. Um, and that's the only one we found so far. Passenger side, near side. That seems to be okay at the moment. Um, that fits up pretty well. I think I'm happy with that. Uh, let's get the headlight fitted then. Okay, different shed now. Uh, I've got the step off of the truck. This is the broken driver's side step. Um, the bolts, I don't know if you'll be able to see them. They're pretty manky. They're sort of star head torques, countersunk 
uh, machine screws, I think it's a technical term. And they're rusty and horrible, and I we've got new ones. I'm literally not even going to bother. I'm going to cut them off, drill the heads out on the two that I can't reach because they're tucked under here. Um, so we'll just drill those out. Uh, the reason being is because we want the actual metal step piece here. That's pretty new. Um, there's a lot of black paint on that. I think these have been replaced at some point because they're really good condition. If you look at this other one, I got. Now this one is a spare and you can see the corrosion where the alley has been eaten away there. You know, this is the same age truck. So I'm not going to use that. Definitely not going to use that. These really good tidy conditions. So I think the steps have been replaced at some point. So let's get that off. plates off, a uh, little bit of damage to the holes there, ovaled them out a little bit, uh, those, um, that one's okay, but to be honest, it's really worn, um, I wouldn't say it's scrap, we might keep it just in the shed as a spare, but that's actually pretty thin, you could almost shave with that edge um, there, so uh, yeah, we, um, we won't use that, because we've got this one. That's loads better. That we need to polish up, and that's going to go on uh, with the the new step. Ta-da! Well, we just need to get these bolts out. Hi guys, you're joining me a couple of days later now. Uh, the reason being is because we've had miserable weather and it's been raining on and off for the last couple of days. And we just haven't been able to carry on working outside. Um, as I mentioned to you, we had problems with the GoPro. The memory card for some reason kept coming up with a card error and reformatting itself and we just lost everything we had filmed. So I was filming a bit with my phone, um, but that was rubbish quality. And I gave up in the end in the rain, trying to hold a phone and a film. So. Let's see where we got to the other day. Right, here we go. This is looking a little bit more complete now. So the bumper here, that is on. I just need to torque up the bolts where it fixes onto the actual chassis. But we fitted the tread plates. So we've got tread plate there, we've got the other one there. Number plate is on. This light panel, I don't really know what to call it now, but this panel above the bumper there, this is now fitted. So it doesn't wobble around, uh, the bolts are tightened up, headlights are fitted. I'm just tapping stuff really. <laughs> you can see it's all fitted now. So yeah, that's all nice and tight. Tread plates on, the new screws are in there. Um, and then coming around the side, we have the steps. You can see that this is still a little bit loose. That's because I haven't tightened the bolts up here. When the wing panel goes on over the wheel, I want to make sure that we've got even gaps all the way around. Um, it'll be as close as we can get it. We're not going to have uh, shut lines like a car might have, um, but we can kind of do a good job and try and get it nice and even. So again, all new stainless machine screws in there for fitting. Headlights fitted. These are the bolts where they go through and fit to that front panel. What we'll do now as well, I just want to show you the original front panel that was on the truck to show you those sort of threaded bars. Just in the shed where I've got some parts now, it's a little bit dark. Um, I bought a torch with me, but I forgot to bring the light for the top of the GoPro. So in this stack of parts, we have two light panels. This is a shorter version from an Alpha 2000. And this is the deeper version, the one that was on the truck. And if we just look under here, there we go. This is the reason I think it might have had a little smack on the front at some point or that someone's fitted the headlight with it out of alignment. We've got this fiberglass and filler all around. Um, 
that threaded piece of bar has actually come out of that socket there um, and this one has all been broken and fixed not a very good state the other side is okay although we do have a bolt seized in on that one there you can see it's a bit buried under some other clutter here um, but there was a couple of cracks in it as well and i found the other one cheap enough with a breaker it's undamaged um, so we just sanded it primed it painted it and fitted it on there uh, much better than trying to repair that one really so guys we're back in my other little shed now um, to catch up on what we've been doing while we've been away from the camera for the last few days i have here on the bench the original passenger side so this is near side front wing panel so this one we've already removed the lights so that's the step light um, we've got the side repeater goes in there there's also a bolt hole there and we've done some repairs so we had a small crack down through here um, that's been sort of ground out and panel bond in that that's now really nice and tough the other thing we needed to panel bond was underneath so there's this sort of stainless steel bracket here that's glued, bonded, you can see it there, onto the fiberglass panel. Um, this is where it mounts bolts to the cab. Um, this end of it had come away, it had come loose. So again, we've cleaned that out, put a brake cleaner in there to flush it, and we've bonded that back in, clamped it, left it overnight. Um, so that's now sorted. This repair still needs a bit of tidying up underneath. But overall on the top, we've sanded it down, we've given it a little puff over with this isolating primer, mainly around the edges, just the feathered sort of edges, um, where we've gone through the top coat through to the primer and the plastic. Um, so it's had plastic primer, isolating primer, and it's going to have a two-pack high build on it. Um, so to hopefully negate any issues with uh, reactions, solvent reactions or anything like that between the coats. So the other panel for the driver's side is stood here beside me. Now this one um, is just as it is, comes straight off the lorry. We've got the same sort of damage on the corner down here. Now that needs a bit of repair, um, but this one, to be honest, looks like it might be a bit worse than the one behind me. It's cracked all the way up here as well. Let's have a look on the inside. So we've got a rotten sort of tie bar there. A um, couple of bolts, they might come out, they might not. You can just see evidence of that crack just there on the outer panel so that should repair okay and the only other problem that i've just noticed you know that bracket i mentioned bonded on the other one is missing uh, we've got a nice long bead of glue there and no stainless panel um, and a sheared off bolt there so i think we will have to go and look at the other panels in the shed see what we've got see if we've got a better one of these so before we go looking for another one of these wing panels, um, you might have just seen it as the camera's been panning around. I want to show you the air intake box. This is horrible. <laughs> so on the floor, it's got to go back over on the truck. This is the original sort of air box here. This has obviously had water getting into it at some point and rotten away. It is in a right old state. Um, all of that there, can you see that? fiberglass and filler and mesh that is really bad the air filter must have just been sitting in water so this was shot that's all been fiberglassed and filled and an attempt at repairing it at some point but we have brand new one so this brand new, lovely brand new box here. Um, this is galvanized steel as well. Um, so that's hopefully going to last a lot better. Um, what I think's happened on that other one is there's a seal inside this panel. This is where the air intake on the back of the cab drops on. I think water's been getting under there, dripping down inside. Uh, and has basically sat in there and rotted it out. So this has now been put on um, with some Tiger Seal, like bond all the way around. Um, you can just see a thin edge of it there uh, to try and basically make that watertight seal on there. Um, so hopefully we won't get water down in there. We've cleaned up the top. We haven't yet put the new air filter in, but this is nearly ready to go back on the truck. So this end has been fitted as well. Um, the sort of 
there's little indents in this panel and you basically punch the edges in to lock it in place but I've also bonded that in place as well um, to make sure that's watertight and sealed and not going to come off uh, because obviously when this cap goes on that's got to form a really nice airtight seal in there right guys let's get this edge sanded down on there the other thing I'm trying out today as well um, I don't know if you've noticed any difference in the sound quality I won't know obviously until I upload this video um, but I have been trialing a new Rode wireless mic um, so I've got the microphone in my pocket here um, I've got a little lav wire just up here um, on my collar you might have seen it the reason I've done that as well is to hopefully be able to do some of these videos with the camera over there and me somewhere else and you guys still be able to hear me That doesn't look too bad. Right, let's put a little bit of plastic primer on that again. I'm just using an aerosol one. Dries really quickly, um, just helps etch the surface and allow the paint to key to it better. Let's have a go at removing these lights. Oh, different size Torx bit. Right, I'm going to cheat and use mole grips to just grip the tiny little nut in the back there. Which is being a little bit awkward at the moment. I have got new screws for these if we do break them. There we go, that one's come out. It's quite a fiddly little things. So you can see how eaten away these nuts are. I don't know if the camera will focus on that, but um, there's quite a bit of wastage around the edge of that nut. So you'd never have got a spanner on that if you, um, if you wanted to even. Yeah, these have got stainless nuts on the back of these and they look like stainless screws as well. So that's good. There we go. There's a little sort of foam seal on the back of that one as well. So these will get cleaned up. We'll take that over paint off of there as well, I think. So a little spray with some degreaser just before we put it in the box. A bit of rag. Just give this a little light clean up to get some of the mud off. Proper clean up before it goes back on the truck. Um, so I can take this lens out and we'll give that a clean in there as well. That's got a seal in there too to stop water getting in, which looks like it's failed um, because you can see water's been sat in that lens there uh, at some point. So we'll give that all a good clean up, see if we can get a new seal potentially, um, because I haven't yet found a new unit to replace this. If you know of one, please let me know. Um, I think some of the newer DAFs use what looks like the same unit, but I haven't yet found one off the, off the shelf on the market as such. That's all mud in there around that seal. It's like a sort of neoprene rubber. Like a wetsuit, I think, that seal. That's what it looks like, some sort of neoprene rubber. Um, let's just give it a little bit of a clean out, get the mud out. Right, ready to clean up. Actually, that degreaser, so it can't have keyed very well, it's taking some of that paint off with it. I'll give it a little scrape with a screwdriver here. It's coming off. That shouldn't be too bad to clean up. I don't want to scratch the plastic up. This is a really well used sort of scotch pad thing. And seeing as this is textured plastic, it's not going to damage it too much. It might sort of mark the clear. Um, so I want to keep my thumb on there and just keep it away. Look at that. Oh, that's coming up nicely. So it can't have keyed at all to the plastic, which is good. Why well, it hadn't been removed or masked properly when they painted the wings, who knows? Taking a little bit of the tarnishing out there as well. That's good. 
Okay, so just giving that a little clean up around the edge of the sort of grey plastic there, trying to take off for still a little bit there, um, take off this blue overpaint. And I think that's looking loads better. So, in the tub with all the parts. Right, next thing we've got to look at is getting this alloy tread plate off of the bumper there. Um, as it's in one piece, it's a bit awkward, this thing. So it's going to be a bit of moving around. Let's get this air box out of the way before I go scratching my shiny new paint on that. And they've come out OK so far. Two down, two to go. Right. More grips on the back. Ta-da! There we go. And, oh, that's good. We haven't done any damage to the alley plate. And we've got the bolt out. We'd have been there all night otherwise. Yeah, that was a bit seized. In the scrap. So there we are guys, this is now stripped of its components, the tread plate and the lamps, and it's ready to swap with the other one on the bench, and we'll get this all sanded down and primed up like the other one. Ah, just before we do that though, I've forgotten I need to get this bracket off. And this one's not in a very good state really. I really don't think that's going to come undone, that bolt there. Don't know about that one, that one's already come out, but that... Mm, I think that's shot. Right, out with the Dremel. Let's see if we can tidy some of this up a bit. Ready for some gluing. This is panel bond staff. Now, normally you'd put one of those fancy little um, tubes on the end, but I'm mixing it up on a board because, quite honestly, we don't need that much. And you end up wasting loads in the little tube. That's probably more than enough. And then make sure we mix it really, really well. Just chuck it in there, make sure we're getting it really well stuck on and into everywhere we need it. Just get your fingers in there, it's probably the best way to make sure you can get it into all the little gaps and where I've drilled sort of through the panel and into the crack to try and make sure we can stop it happening again. I'm just going to smear it into some other cracks we've got there. All right, I need to get under the panel now and do the other side. Yeah, this is so awkward, but those bolts are so rusty. But to be honest, they're just going to shear, they're not going to come out. And I really need to get this truck done and on the road again. And this just looks like resin, like epoxy resin that's been in it before, and body filler. So I know this is still a little bit of a cheat even. It's probably guys, professional fiberglass repair guys, screaming at my video, going, what, are you doing it all wrong? And I probably am. I don't know, but it does work. Or it's worked for me anyway, this stuff. Time will tell. That's the other thing. If in six months time I've got cracks opening up, then we'll know it didn't work very well. Oh, oh just oh, slapped my head in that. So I've just, just come around the other side where I can see so that I can make sure underneath that I've got... Oh, this isn't working because I've got it on my hands. 
Right, there we go, guys. Um, there's not much else I can do with this panel now until tomorrow. So it's all clamped up. I've got to leave it totally still now. Once that's gone off, we'll flip it back over and we'll start sanding it and paint both of these. So that's it for now, just a short little video. Join me on the next one. Um, we'll look at painting these and getting them fitted back onto the truck.